Hello to our viewers watching from within Zambia and around the world to present Kamla Television News. My name is Jeffrey Ziambo. Our top stories in the news tonight, police face off with PF officials as DEC holds on to Esther Lungu's properties. The UPND shocked over slow justice delivery. FDD President Edith Nawakwe rejects Vedanta comeback. In international news, five protesters reported dead in anti-UN protests in Eastern DRC. And in sports news, Zambia chess national team departs for India. The agriculture and commercial show is back, bigger and better under the theme Innovation Through Technology. And as Kamna TV, we are here to transform your business through our technology. Advertise with us on discounted rates during the month of July and during the agriculture and commercial show. Special price package for live stand interviews, on-screen product placement during the coverage of the show. For more details, call the following numbers. Kamna TV, not just another channel. Hello once again, another news in detail. Mafinga constituency has purchased a greater with about 1.9 million kwacha to work on feeder roads in the district using constituency development funds CDF of previous years. Constituency member of parliament Robert Chavinga says the equipment has been bought to give Mafinga district to help facelift the area through the construction of feeder roads. Speaking during the commissioning of the greater, Mr. Chavinga implored Mafinga district council to use the equipment for its intended purpose. More in this report. There's no doubt that the Constituency Development Fund, CDF, is a critical catalyst to facilitating development in various constituencies of Zambia. <music> Dance of excitement during the Mafinga Constituency unveiling of the newly purchased grader worth about 1.9 million kwacha to work on the feeder roads in the district using the Constituency Development Fund, CDF, of previous years. Mafinga Constituency Member of Parliament, Robert Chavinga, says the equipment has been bought to give Mafinga District a facelift through road construction. Speaking during the commissioning of the grader, Mr. Chavinga has called on the Mafinga Council to use the equipment for the intended purpose. The commissioning comes at a time when our district is in their need of preparing several feeder roads that are in deplorable state. The greater will enable the district to open up new roads in order to facilitate the transportation of goods and services. Used, sir, to announce that under the CDF we have a number of projects that have been approved for 2022 and, in, and the initiated undertakings includes two mortuaries that will be constructed at Tendere District Hospital and Muyombe Hospitals, respectively. Meanwhile, Council Chairperson Duncan Kaunga says they share the United Party for National Development overall objective to improve the livelihoods of the people of Mafinga. We are not going to relent in our quest to make decisions that are objective and just for the people of this district. Sometimes our decisions may be harsh, ladies and gentlemen, not because we want them, because that is the correct direction we want to take. Sometimes they will say, no, 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 bakari pachomen. We are not annoyed. We just want to correct the situation. I must assure you, on short works this time around, is not negotiable. Zero tolerance to short works. If you are a contractor, and you want to do works in this district, get ready to do the correct works. And the traditional leadership underscored the need for unity in diversity in order to steer development. Many people have talked about looking at each other as one. What I want to assure you is there cannot be oneness 
If I, Chief Miyomi, works on my own, Chief Manichifungi works on his own, Chief Manawis works on his own, and all these people, they work, each one works on his own. Patrick Soko, Cabinet News. Some beneficiaries of the Constituency Development Fund Skills Bursaries in Kalumbila District have commended the government for the support. Speaking in an interview with Camnet News, Hecam Skill Training Center student Veronica Sagme says she had no other sources of income and says the support will go a long way in helping her acquire skills that will see her become self-reliant. Another beneficiary, Gift Mwansapa, says he had stayed for many years in the village without obtaining tertiary education and has thanked President Hagande Hichilema for the support. More in this report. These are among the 67 students at Haikwam Skills Training Center in Kalumbila District of Northwestern Province who have benefited from the first consignment of the Constituency Development Fund Skills Bursaries introduced by the current administration. With Kalumbila being a mining town, these students will be trained in various skills such as heavy equipment training and mining among other things. The students who say they have been doing nothing in their villages since they completed their education are now happy that they will be able to acquire skills which will see them become self-reliant. They have since thanked President Hagainde Hichilema for extending bursaries to skill centers. <laughs> Exactly. 